So, okay, so this is the way we like to do it. Completely raw. No idea what we're doing here. There's something in here. <coughs> Let's get in it. And, uh, ah, what am I doing? Let's just get the trusty opener. Bam. These little slip joints, man, you gotta be careful because they, man, they can bite you quick. Even closing these little things. They, they got such good detent there that uh, they will jump out and bite you. All right, so we got a Sabivi knife from Sabivi. Okay, cool. Well, I can see what it is. Let's see if the box says. So it's a pintail. Uh, it says C twenty twenty C. I don't know what that means, but who cares? Let's get in here. Let's let's get it out of here. Get it checked in, so we can really check it out. How about that? I think that's the plan. Okay, let's get rid of this. Yeah, looking on there. I don't need that for nothing, and I don't need that. <coughs> Oh, I still have this cough, y'all. Yeah, stickers. Same same old stickers. Nice cleaning cloth. And the pintail. Now, I gotta be honest, man. First take, I thought this was a much bigger knife than this. I really did. I thought this was, this knife was up there closer to a, like a Praxis or something. But it is not. But, ooh, that micarta is nice. Wow. Come on, man. I mean, that may be the most soft, feathery micarta I've ever, ever felt. Wow. I wonder if it'll pick up the fluffiness of that. I don't think it does. I mean, it's, it's like cotton ball fluffy. Wow. All right, let's get in there. I do like the, the thumb flipper. Because y'all know I'm a thumb flipper. I like to thumb flick. So I'm going to use that first. Ooh. Kind of broke that detent. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely smaller than I thought it was. But I'm not going to say it's too small. The detent. I'm going to say just my initial kind of gut reaction here feels a little weak on that flipper tab. But, I mean, it's snapping out. Who am I kidding? Let me try to fail it like this. Slowly apply some pressure. Yeah, and I can fail it from there. Let's try it again. Two's the proof. You don't need three or four. Just two will do it. What about a spidey flick? Yeah, perfect. So, I, you know, from, from that thumb... To the spidey, to the back flipper. I guess the detent's okay. I don't like to fail them from the back. That that all, to me always says weak. But we'll see. Let me uh, let me try this. If I release that, yeah, that blade is completely free. So the only pressure it's getting is from the actual lock bar and the detent ball. It's pressing against there and creating back pressure that's not allowing that knife to free will out there so uh, you know it's possible that i can improve this get it apart clean it oil it who knows but it doesn't take much so let me clear that up it's not taking much to get that to run let me put just a little pressure on it and it'll go like it doesn't take a lot of effort that thumb is really aggressive snappy and the spidey flick is is pretty darn good Easy to do, and it comes out with authority. I like the blade shape. It's got a little choke up thing. Yeah, let's get it apart. Let's see what's going on in there. Enough jibber jabber, man. Let's get to it. Because we're definitely going to take it apart. We're going to see what's going on in here. And uh, clean it up. Give it a proper check in. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we don't want that. Big old flat blade. And we don't want that flat blade. What's going on? We got, I need to put tools away. Clean up my shop area. What are we doing? Okay, well, went through all that, and it's a T8. 
Yeah, sure enough. Come on, man. Pay attention. Put a little effort into what you're doing here. Be so casual, punk. All right, there we go. I can feel everything sprung loose. Yeah, and it's dry. The bearings have started to cut their way into this black coating. You know, I've talked about that a little bit before. I don't think I'm going to pull this clip and pull that scale. There's no oil on the knife anywhere. So I think I'm just going to wipe it down a little bit and then lube it. And uh, we'll put it back together. Wow, that micarta, man. That's stunning how, how good that is. Yeah, so the detent is, is I mean, it's... It's sprung. As soon as that screw cut loose, I mean, those that scale wanted to spring off of there. So it's it's got plenty of detent pressure. It's just, you know, it's a light blade. The bearings are dry. And they're having to cut their way through this coating, which if you look here, you can see them doing that. You know, I think somebody mentioned to me recently that there's a way to deal with that. I let it deal with itself. I'm not, I'm not in that big a hurry. If this was my one and only knife, you know, and I'd given up collecting and I'm just going to have this one knife, maybe I'd put some effort into taking care of that coating, um, so that these bearings could run a little freer, but it's not my only knife. It's got plenty of time to get some fidget and get those bearings to cut into that coating. And yeah, it's going to all be fine. No question. Yeah, that's all that took. There wasn't a lot going on here. These are these are basic, fundamental, really, really good knives. Built well, you know. Civivi's the the middle line for we, and uh, a lot of what they do with we filters down into these Civivi's, and probably to the Sen cuts too. There we go. Got that to catch. You know, probably to the send cuts as well. Um, I know the send cuts that I've looked at lately are pretty darn good. And uh, one of my favorites is the Sache, Sache, whatever it is. S-A-C-H-E. Uh, button lock. Nice knife. Yep. Yeah, so this blade is super light. So I think that's where we're running into our, you know, our detent issue. There's just not a lot of weight to this blade. It's, uh, it's very light. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, that way. And so, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to get a good drop motion, uh, or opening motion when there's not a lot of oomph, not a lot of what do they call it? Uh, pistol in the pants or what's something, man. Anyways, whatever that is, it doesn't have a lot of it. But there's a really good chance that just lubing that up, wiping it down, cleaning off any dust residue from where the bearings have been cutting their way in there, uh, cleaning that up could definitely improve that action. And then tightening this from the rear forward can help as well. Puts a proper pressure on the knife. And aligns things good. Try to get this correct. Let me check that for play. It's good there. And it's good there. So I'm going to put all this away. And then let's see, let's see what was delivered. I mean, in the end, it doesn't feel any different doing this. We'll try that fail maneuver one more time and see if it fails. But I can't, there's nothing that I can perceive from here. Maybe it's starting to be better. You know, who knows? The oil could act like a cutting agent and help those bearings cut their way through that coating. Add a little lubrication to it. I mean, I guess that doesn't really make sense, but it could be happening there. I mean, there the blade just bounced. 
All right, ready? So what did I run that about? 10 times plus. Let me try to fail it. Where are we at? Here we go. Yeah, it's the same. One more time. We'll give it the two run test. Yeah. Same stuff. But if I get the lock bar out of the equation, I mean, that blade's freewheeling on them bearings just as good as it could possibly do. And so it's really just the lock bar and the detent ball. Eh, you know what? There's something I didn't do. Let me put just a dab of oil on that detent ball. Sometimes that can make a difference. Because that detent ball is running on that coating as well. And it'll have to cut a path across that blade. It's got internal stop pins. Look at that. It's pretty nice. Nice view right here. Internal stop pins. You can see the bearings down in there. It's nice, clean, simple, functional. And uh, so that, I mean, that's a great lock up there because it's locked up on both sides. It's pretty nice. I like it. Well built. Give it a couple of runs. And then let's try it again. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's the same. You know, we'll uh, test it a few times. You know, get it out and work it. And once it cuts in there, wouldn't surprise me in the least if this thing doesn't. Like, just fly all the way out, drop shut, the whole thing. It's definitely going to improve through time. 100% it is. So, the action, I, you know, I don't know. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a B. <clears throat> Maybe a B minus. And the reason being is because the manufacturer is the one putting this coating on there. And so, you know, it wouldn't take much for them to coat this in a manner I don't know if these are dip coated or how those are coated, but it wouldn't take much to at least get the bearings not running on that coating because that's, I mean, that's a huge part of what's causing this and then create a, a polished path for the detent ball. I, it wouldn't take much to do that. And then this action, in my opinion, would be probably stellar and would get an A plus, but instead I'm going to give it like a B minus. Because it's just them not dealing with this coating on here. Does it run pretty good though? I mean it does, but it just could be, it could be a lot better. It's not bad, but it's not great. Uh, ergonomics. So this grip right here, uh, that's, a, that's a very confident grip. So by my standards, I could carry this as a self-defense knife. You know, it's not optimum. It's kind of small. Definitely unobtrusive, but in a pinch, if I had to get this out as a secondary self-defense weapon and defend myself, the grip on this is as good as it needs to be for me to, you know, take a posture and defend myself. 100%. Yeah. The thumb is locked into this wonderful Civivi jimping up on this back spine. Very uh, aggressive and and biting and it it ramps up almost like a harpoon maybe it is a harpoon i'm not an expert on blade shapes man i kind of just dabble there because uh, i say enough things to make myself look stupid so and, and i'll be honest it doesn't interest me i don't you know i either i look at it i either like it or i don't is it a harpoon clip drop i it, it's just i you know I, i'm not that guy like so you know as far as channels go Man, there's a lot of guys out there that could tell you all this stuff and the specs, man, and they'll throw all the measurements and the weights up. It's just not me, y'all. I mean, I'm more of a, a sense, you know, with my sensories, it's not mental, it's physical. You know, can I touch it? How's it feel, that micarta? You know, what's the action? I want to open it up, look at the guts and touch them and clean them. And, you know, so I, it's just, I'm a different experience and it's not... Those stats mean absolutely nothing to me. I don't care if it's three or three and a quarter or five or if it weighs. I, You know, here's what I care. Ooh, that's heavy. Or, wow, this thing's light as a feather. Uh, where the balance is on it, I, you know, I've seen that before too. Like, okay, it's, it's beyond the pivot pin. I don't know what that means, man. But it's important to some people, I guess. So it's just not me. Anyways, man, there's my rant. You know, I'm I'm getting in this mode where 
I got a rant down in every video now. Like, I don't know, man. I, I probably should watch it because, you know, but, but it is what it is. If I was sitting here by myself, I wouldn't be saying these things, I, but I'd be thinking them. <laughs> I mean, I'm, man, I'm so bad. I'm not drunk. I haven't been drinking. I promise you I haven't. I'm, I'm dealing with uh, a thing in my lungs right now, so I'm on antibiotics. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, it, anyways, I digress, man. Um, yeah, so the, the grip... <laughs> It's a very confident grip, and this uh, jimping back here really creates a great platform for the thumb on a, th on a thumb forward. This knife would also work with just a strong grip here. This is just as powerful right here, uh, very secure in the hand. And this, there's two sets of jimping here, and they both contribute. One is on the lock bar itself on the top of it that uh, gets underneath the finger. You can see it there where it's digging in. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. If I'm gripping hard, I, you know, I want the knife to bite me. I want it to say, hey, you couldn't throw me down even if your hands are wet. Um, the other thing is this jimping here, it goes, goes up and over the flipper tab. And so really nice jimping there. And it also is biting my finger right there. So very confident grip. There's confident, very confident, and not so confident. Well, this one's very confident. Uh, there's a choil spot here, a place to choke up and get up in here. And I don't, I don't know. Is this, is this slicing sushi or chopping bet? Man, I don't know what that is, but, but yeah, there's this, there's, there's that choke up spot for you. Detail work. You could pinch, pinch grip this knife too to like, I don't know, dig out a sliver or something. It's a little big for that maybe. Um, Pocket clip. Yeah, let's get there. Bum, bum, bum. I probably need to take the, the tag off these pants and get them in the rotation because I really like this color. Uh, so this clip, look, we already know, man, this clip's going to be amazing. It's uh, not a recess clip, but the screws are recessed. So we might bump on the front of that. Let's see. But on this thick material, the front of that clip is raised enough that one-handed it's going to be able to get over that and just money the knife completely disappears it's got this nice subdued black clip on here uh that's that's a hidden knife i mean i you know smart people know what it is but i'm just saying like there's there's nothing showing there it's wonderful it works on the thinner jean size material and then me i carry on the outside of this back right pocket for my right hand to reach back and and access my knife and I know for a fact, if I put it right here, it's going to be there. No matter if I'm rolling around in the ground or tumbling around or in, in a tussle, it, it's not going to not be here when I need it. It's going to be right there. Yep. So very nice pocket clip. Good job on that one. And safety. Let's check it. Can I touch that blade? Nah, no chance. How about the tip? Ooh, look at this tip. Wow. Okay, let's see if my fat, stubby finger can get that. Oh, man, I can't feel it, but golly, get in focus. I mean, less than a millimeter, but no, nah, I can't touch it. So I don't need to dwell on that and act like I want to touch it. Yeah, did a good job. What about sharpness? All right, here we go. This thing feels really good in hand. It really does. Very comfortable. I was a little disappointed at first because it wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. But now that I'm handling it, I mean, if I want to carry a small, unobtrusive, capable pocket knife, man, that thing fits the bill. It's really comfortable that my Carta is to die for. Uh, I mean, golly, they, I mean, they've cornered the market on this soft, pillowy, wonderful my Carta. No question about it. Um, what's left? One little thing. Price and availability. So currently, uh, or recently, I'm not sure when this video will go because I, I usually have a few videos in the queue ahead that are finished. And this one will be as well. Um, but currently, as I'm sitting here today, uh, these on the Civivi website, are they're 32% off 
uh, sale is still going. So these, they're like 60 something on the Civivi website. Uh, White Mountain's selling them for like $80. And then if you took 10% off of that, you're like, I don't know, just over 70 bucks. But currently White Mountain has an open box one of these that's only like 40 something dollars. So, I mean, you definitely can find some some opportunity to pick these up. And I didn't talk about the blade steel. And I think the reason is, is because there's like no badging on this at all. But this, the pintail, is S35VN. So it's got great steel on it. And so when you start talking about a price tag that's between, let's say, 60 and $90, that's not so far out. I mean, even for a smaller knife like this, that's not crazy to get some good S35VN, which I like that steel. It's a good steel. I mean, to be honest, would I notice the difference between that and 14C? I, you know, maybe when I sharpened it, I'd notice something. But in the end, I, how I'm using my knives, I don't think I pick up on that kind of stuff. But anyways, let me get that out of the way. Hey, uh, that's it. I appreciate you watching.